You know, the public sector resembles some kind of Tarantino movie. Whims of government, and overnight we're just thrust into some new chaos, scrabbling around, trying to drop all the important things while we try and meet some crazy new deadline. Up there, you know, they don't talk to each other. They don't join the dots. It's left to us locally to sort out their mess. Then there's more cuts, thousands redundant, leaving us short-handed. And then these big consultancy firms worm the way in so that they can charge a grand a day just for taking notes at a meeting. A grand a day? Where's that money going? And people ask if we're coping. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm failing my team if I tell people that we're not. Well, this is coping. Everybody's coping. It's just never enough. And something will go wrong. We lose a child in our care. The press will get hold of it. Everyone gets vilified. And you know, it's never any one individual's fault. It can be a hundred different things. On their own, they're just insignificant. But you put them all together, and I'm the only manager left. The other one's off long-term sick, so there's no cover, as usual. And you know what my boss says? You're a manager, so manage it as if it's me not doing my job properly. The more under-resourced we are, the more fragmented we become. And then we say to the parents who lost their child, oh, we're so sorry. It's the system that let you down. Well, blaming the system is a cop-out. The system is people. No, actually, the system is government. And it's only going to get worse. And it's not enough to say that we followed the rules. It's time we made some new rules. There's been enough bloodshed.